Six's Treasure Roberts joins us live in the newsroom. And Treasure, you spoke to that fire inspector's attorney, right? Yeah, I did. The fire inspector's attorney says his client has been humiliated and even threatened in the workplace. The attorney says after multiple failed attempts to rectify the issues in house, his client wants to take it to court. The city of Orlando coming under fire after an employee with the Orlando Fire Department filed a complaint. Theodore Washington, a fire inspector, has been employed with the city for nearly three years. His attorney, Brad Tobin, says Washington has been walking on eggshells since his hire. It wears on you, and it, you know, emotionally, it's, it's exhausting. The 14-page complaint details several incidents where Washington was allegedly discriminated against because of his sexual orientation. Washington says in 2019, a deputy fire marshal noticed a photo of him and another man in his cubicle. Washington informed his colleague it was of him and his boyfriend. In response, the colleague allegedly said he should take it down and keep his private life private. If they have personal issues with uh, someone, keep it to yourself. Washington says the work environment grew hostile over time. He felt ostracized and discouraged. Tobin says the most shocking of the allegations is when Washington claimed the deputy fire marshal told him, quote, we hired you to carry yourself like a straight man. Washington says he also faced retaliation. When inquiring about a promotion, he was allegedly told he didn't have enough experience. Washington believes he was shut down because of his prior discrimination complaints. He says a colleague told him management was upset and looking to fire him. That same colleague allegedly telling Washington she was, quote, locked and loaded. It's not the first time the fire department has been accused of misconduct. Back in 2021, the Justice Department settled a sexual harassment and retaliation lawsuit against Orlando Fire. An assistant fire chief alleged she was harassed by the former fire chief, then retaliated against for making a complaint. Tobin says Washington knows this is bigger than him. It's about others that uh, he doesn't want to feel like this or experience what he's been going through uh, down the line. We reached out to the city and the fire department for comment on the complaint. I also asked if they have a policy on inclusivity. I haven't heard back. In the newsroom, Treasure Roberts getting results. News 6.